Good morning, guys. Today we are going to a place that you might have seen before. Let's go to Bali. In this roller coaster ride. just got in from my flight um, from China into Bali and I am back at my old house right here that I used to live in here in Bali for a couple months and with the family that uh, hosted us. I lived in this house right here and then when Poppy moved to Bali she ended up renting the same house so now she lives in my old house and I'm gonna live as her next door neighbor for a bit. <laughs> What do you mean? Oh my god. Oh, you look good. Oh. Yeah. I Poppy is at yoga right now, so I'm waiting for her. And Martini and Ray are like making me tea and food as always. <laughs> I am in Bali with guess who? Poppy. <laughs> We're always running into each other everywhere. I know, I'm your next door neighbor again. I know. For the third time. Yeah. This just ends up happening. Like, we actually barely even plan this, and mm -hmm. it just it just happens, so, yeah. <laughs> Two of Poppy's friends, Mitch and Pow, have gotten here, and I think we're gonna go on a big adventure together and drive the scooters to Ahmed because it's supposed to be one of the most beautiful drives in all of Bali. Okay, we are off to Ahmed to the beach with Woo! everybody. <laughs> Let's go. One of my favorite things about Bali is, you don't need to limit yourself to just the tourist spots. You can take your scooter and drive without even looking for anything. The most beautiful scenery just finds you, like these breathtaking rice terraces that we had to stop to see. <laughs> Closing my eyes and thinking of you, love Holding goodbyes Just like I do, love Drifting away And dreaming of you, dear Wondering why I don't belong are super steep. So, Evan, mm. is okay? Totally fine. I'm okay? Bike ran out of juice. These hills are just too steep for it, so we went over. Scoopy, you didn't have what it took, I guess. But beautiful views. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know what I'm thinking. Didn't see it coming, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't even know how to do this. I don't need a map like to show me how. Show me how We go up and down We go up and down on no, no, no. this Roller coaster ride Roller coaster ride Minus the fall, we just had a great drive to this temple. There's actually tons of temples in this complex. This is just one of them behind me. And also behind me is the very famous gate. 
where people take a photo with the volcano in the background. The problem is that this is all the line. Climbed all of these stairs up to the temple. Uh, the volcano is in the background. That's Mount Agung, the one that keeps erupting and it's so tall I actually didn't notice it at first because it doesn't look like a spot in the sky where anything would be other than sky. Chickens up here. A beautiful drive. This is our house. Oh, the dog! This is our house. We literally have a bridge with two fish ponds to get into our house. I probably have like smoke and smog all over my face. Now we're gonna go have drinks on the beach. We're gonna have the best margaritas in the world. Poppy has told me about 10 thousand times that these are the best margaritas in the world so I'm expecting a lot. You coming guys? Good morning guys, today we are going to be going to the Gili Islands where you might remember that last year, I think it was, I got really hurt. Um, but this time we're going to Gili Air instead of Gili Tea. Gili Air is supposed to be way more laid back than Gili Tea, which is more like about party. <laughs> so, we're looking forward to it. The boys have invaded our room because it has AC. They got the room without AC or fan. <laughs> Packing to leave for Gili. <laughs> No rain, which is awesome. And also like last time, we came without any accommodation planned. So we're just gonna walk around and like see where it looks good and stay there. We're having lunch first. Um, some of Poppy's stuff got wet, so we're checking it right now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's where I got hurt before. And that's where we are now, in the Gillies. Something cool about the Gillies is that there are no motorized vehicles allowed on the island, so no motorbikes, no cars, just horse-drawn carriages or bicycles, which is uh, pretty cool and definitely gives it a different atmosphere and uh, beautiful scenery as well, as you can see. Oh my gosh, after a very long, hot, sweaty search, <laughs> we have ended up in a really pretty little bungalow, outdoor shower, and I'm just ready to get into the ocean right now. <laughs> okay, I think we are going to go jump in the pool and then into the ocean.
done some swimming, um, exploring. Quite a tiring day, actually, but good. Um, and now I think we are going to go see the sunset somewhere. Here is our bungalow. So pretty. <laughs> We have been walking on the beach, we saw the sunset, beautiful water here. The water here is so blue, definitely reminding me of the Philippines and the last time we were in the Gillies it just kept raining the entire time so um, definitely a better trip this time I guess I'd say. Waking up, final morning on the Gillies. Some people are still tired. We're packing, getting ready to go back to Ubud. To no one's surprise, the boat back to Ahmed is late. So Poppy and Pau are using this time to buy some more sarongs over there. Okay, if you guys saw my recent video about travel hacks, you might have seen that I almost didn't get to buy this flight to Bali in time and that was because Libby and I were scrambling for our passwords, uh, the credit card was left at home, Livy had the password on an old email but couldn't remember the password to that email, um, I couldn't remember the password to my encrypted folder that had the picture of my credit card, yeah, it was just <laughs> a big mess. But as you know, I did end up making it to Bali and I want to thank this video's sponsor, Dashlane. Dashlane is this awesome app that I really wholeheartedly recommend and it works across all of your devices using autofill so that you never have to type, let alone remember, your passwords, login details, uh, credit card, mailing address, and so on. Dashlane effortlessly does all of that for you. Hackers thrive off of weak recurring passwords, but Dashlane can fix all of that for you. If you have no need to remember all of your passwords anymore, then every one of your accounts can have different, very strong passwords. And if there is a breach, then Dashlane can detect that and notify you. Using Dashlane has personally made my online experience a lot easier, and I definitely recommend that you guys check it out. The first 200 people to sign up using this link will get 10% off of the premium version. Okay guys, that is it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I will see you on the next adventure. Bye! I don't even know what I'm thinking. Didn't see it coming, but I don't mind. I don't mind. I don't even know how to do this. I don't need a map like to show me how. Show me how.